Good morning, everyone. Hopefully it's still morning when I put this video out. I did not know what I wanted to do this week, and mostly it's because I think all my ideas were zapped out of my head the last few days. I've been so busy. Um, it's fun. It's awesome. But at the same time, it just, you know, all my ideas are just out there and I, I need to regroup. So um, thanks, you guys, uh, for all the sweet comments you guys have left this whole week. It's been a busy week. And you guys know what I'm referring to. Just everything, all the different lunches and everything else that we do. Um, and then, you know, like I said, my husband's leaving very, very, very soon now. And so it's just been a crazy time. But um, so I wasn't sure what I want to do for Freeform Friday. And then I thought, you know what? That's probably the best thing. It's just simple artsy fun and maybe things I didn't use because I didn't do a bust it out this week and things I haven't used and these are things I have not used and I don't know when I bought them but having said that any links I have in the description box are affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links I don't know I haven't looked for any of these things so um, I, I don't know if I'll even have those but generally you can find or you have your Spectrum Noir sparkle pens I thought that'd be fun to use uh, I probably even have these colors already open. I'm just not going to keep digging. I just saw these sitting there. I thought, oh, that'll be fun. Um, I have a ton of the stamps, the Quirky Sentiments, I think it was, from Crafters Companion. I think it was like a pack of so many. Uh, and I've had them for a long time, so I thought, like, don't grow up. It's a trap, because that's how I'm feeling today. And, um, and then I have my watercolor paper that I used just the other day. Um, I'm going to use more of it. So I have this watercolor card, um, 300 GSM, high-quality, smooth, professional. And I'm not sure why they say smooth, because it's not smooth. Um, it has that texture, and we're just going to use it because I figure I'm going to wet it, and then oh, I can't get this thing removed, and then um, add some sparkle to it. And I've done things like this in the past just because I kind of want to take it easy today, so hopefully it'll be fun for you guys if you haven't seen these in action. These things are very pigmented, so we'll see what happens. Um, I think what I'm going to do is layer this up as a standard A2 size card like I always do, so I'm going to do is trim this down. I don't need this huge guillotine, but <laughs> that's what I have here to cut this piece of paper down. I don't think that's wide enough. Yeah, it's only three and a half there. So let's cut it brand new. I'll cut it the five and a quarter way just so that I have a nice hunk of paper later when I cut the four inches off. And we're just gonna start from there, guys. Another part of the reason I, I feel just a little frazzled today, it's so weird. Um, unfortunately, my mailman misdelivered some of my mail. And that day, it happened to be a really big review package from Spellbinders, and that's why I feel really bad, because I've only started <laughs> a uh, relationship with them not too long ago, right, as far as reviews. And, um, and we have like a shared mailbox, and maybe you guys do too, it just depends on where you live and how they do it, but um, he put it in the wrong spot, right? basically, because it says it was delivered here. The GPS shows it was right there, you know, at the mailbox. And my neighbors haven't brought it to me. I haven't received it. I left a nice note. Uh, the guy, the mailman's like, sorry. Like, he's not saying he did that, but it's like, that's exactly what happened. And it was a lot of stuff, you guys. It's a big package, and I feel really bad, and I feel like, ugh, about it. But my contact there is really sweet. She's like, well, let's give it a few days. I'm like, if they haven't brought it to my house the day it was delivered, which is supposed to be Saturday, I don't think they're going to do it. But nope, sure haven't. So I just frazzled about that. Picked up my glasses. This is my time to vent here. Um, these are my new glasses here. Picked up uh, my new glasses because remember they messed up the prescription and I didn't realize till I got home the prescription on the second pair is also messed up. It's just the same prescription from the last time where it was just like I can't see distance. <laughs> Why? So now I got to go back today and get that done. But it's like just kind of a mess today. All right, so we're gonna start with our watercolor card. Um, and this will just be hopefully be fun and free. Let me get these things going before I start. And the reason I wanted to use this is because they have shimmer. Otherwise I would use like my watercolor pens or whatever you got, it doesn't matter. Um, since these are brand new, you gotta pop that seal. You heard that kind of click. We also want to mess with the, it's already coming in, the color, um, to get that shimmer unstuck from the bottom. But thanks for listening to me, you guys. We had a lot of fun, you know, putting out the Diamond Press videos, your guys' comments. Um, a lot of you guys were really excited that um, they mentioned me. So I went back and looked. Um, I was kind of trying to tune in, but I, like I said, I don't really have a Facebook account. Well, I haven't used it in years. So I was looking at it as my husband's account. <laughs> and um, so I was able to see, oh, I didn't want to do that quite yet. But you know what? It doesn't matter because, like I said, today's just it's Freeform Friday, guys. So that one's ready to go, obviously. 
I always keep these stored upright. If you want to lay them down, that's up to you, but it's just, um, I wanted to spread the color out. So my thing was to get the water going, but I wanted to get these guys going. I guess we're going to be very freeform today because there's n <laughs> no, nothing going on here. Very pigmented. Like you can see like what I put was way too much. And so thank you guys so much. Yeah, it was really sweet. They were mentioning their reviews here. I'm just trying to roll this around a little bit. And of course my phone just started ringing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I started the week with what, headaches? And <laughs> like, ay, ay, ay. I, I just feel really bad because especially with the misdelivered mail, like who, unless this person's a crafty person, whoever got it, you know, if they want to keep it, I guess, but they're not going to do anything with it. It's like, just bring me my package. I even put a little note on there when I said it's important for work. Well, it doesn't matter to them. And even my postman opened the box for me to see like if maybe hopefully the person, whoever misdelivered to hadn't picked it up yet and hadn't grabbed it out of the box. Um, well, they had because it wasn't there. Ooh, this is a lot of color on this one today. A lot of shimmer. I don't know if you can see that. It's so pretty. I don't know if I can turn it away. Hmm, maybe. Um, just trying to get this going. And what I do like about um, using a heat tool, like I'm going to use a heat tool in just a minute to dry this, is that um, you can also push the, the water around, right? So it just gives you an extra... That's it, guys, I think that lid on there just gives you an extra way of making it a little more fun a little more artsy um all right i'm just gonna hit this with a heat tool and like i said i'm gonna chase it around see what happens so pretty i don't know <laughs> i know you probably can't see it but the ink the shimmer in there it looks so cool okay i'm gonna put this aside for just a second because i'm going to hopefully one second let me grab the other piece that i cut off of here the watercolor card so I'll be back. but thanks for letting me vent guys for listening you guys are the best i'm gonna put that to the side and maybe spray this a little bit with water just to get it going and i'm gonna pick this stuff up so whatever's on here, you can always take it and make another background for whatever. I mean, this is plenty to keep going. I can keep doing this until it's all sucked up. Um, I like the look of this one already. And then if you want to bring in more of your pens and hit it with a little more, it's just going to be a really soft background by the time it dries and looks really pretty. So I'm going to clean this up. Again, you can clean it up with more papers. Uh, keep drying it, and I'll be back once this is all dry. Okay, I'm almost all dry, I think. And, you know, having said all that stuff, I fully realize everything I'm complaining about pales in comparison to what people are dealing with, especially in um, Texas. I'm so sorry, you guys. And, you know, I was watching the news and um, the part that obviously everything's horrible, not having electricity and things like that, and especially not having running water. Um, the water damage, like people's pipes that broke because I had water damage here. So I'm very sympathetic to that. That's not something that's going to be taken care of in days. It'll be weeks, if not months. Right. Oh, my gosh. So. My heart goes out to everybody there. And I heard a lot from you guys, too, that were like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to watch the Diamond Press um, Facebook Live because, you know, electricity, all those issues, everything that's going on. So hopefully um, it's not too bad in your neck of the woods. Um, so this one has very little uh, shimmer. Again, I took whatever remnants were there. But a really pretty background, nice and soft. And this one's a lot brighter. And, of course, I'm going to keep drying it and strain it out because it's a little bit wonky. But this is what I wanted, just something messy and cool. I um, haven't thought what I'm going to do with this, but let's open it up. Oh, and to be more uh, first world problems, I was going to complain that my nail's breaking that one and this one too. You guys, it's just... <laughs> oh my gosh. Nothing anybody cares about. I'll just trim them back later, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I like the size of that. Really nice size. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably just mat it up. I know I've done something like this before with these kind of sentiment, um, maybe even sparkle pens. I don't think I did. I think it was watercolors. But um, let me grab some white paper or something like that to stamp on. I'll grab a color that kind of coordinates with the backgrounds and maybe some nesting dyes or something to cut that out with. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just pulling stuff out of everywhere here. Um, 
I have some papers, I have some nesting dies. Somebody asked about these the other day when I used them on a diamond press card, and they are from diamond press. Usually when they're black like this, they're diamond press. Um, the color of the die doesn't matter. If it's a thin metal die, it'll go through any same machine that cuts any thin metal dies. It doesn't matter if it's Anna Griffin or Craft's Companion or boutique brands. And when I say boutique brands, I mean like, you know, all these little uh, stamp companies and die companies that you see. Like maybe Simon Says would carry something like that. Um, they all work. Uh, I have a scrap piece of paper in white, and I think that'll work out for me here. I'm just going to try to stamp it as center as I can, just so that I can center my um, die here. Oh, is that my mailman? Now I feel like I always have to keep an eye out for him, like, you have something for me? The thing is, I wasn't expecting the package, and I wish I had known it was coming, because then I would have kept an eye out for it. I didn't know uh, when they were sending it out. And uh, I'm telling you guys, it was a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I think that's what makes me more upset. Like, oh, it's just a waste, you know? Because... Ever got that? Um, okay. I am just kind of mixing the colors and see if anything happens with that. Oopsie. That's not good. Somebody asked me why I, <laughs> I blew on this the other day. I'm like, oh, just to refresh it. I probably don't have to do that. And I should probably use a stamp positioner for this because I have a feeling it's going to be kind of bubbly. That's just acrylic stamps, and sometimes they do that, and sometimes they don't. Maybe I should have rubbed it with a... Um, nail buffer stamp stays on first. There's lots of ways to train your stamps before you use them. It's not bad. And then the card's kind of artsy, so it doesn't bother me that it's a little bit grainy. I don't know if you can see that, but cute. Probably should have done a little more color mixing down here. That would have been better. Oh, I should not wipe my stamp with this because it has glitter all over the place. So I will clean that, wash that off in just a minute. Um, so I have this guy. And I'm just going to eyeball that. Hopefully that's pretty good. This is gonna be plain white, and that's kind of why I mixed the colors of the ink, just to be a little more fun. But I wanted that to be a little more pristine compared to everything else, and I'm probably gonna end up covering quite a bit of that background. Um, but that's what happens sometimes, guys. So I'll run this through the marquee, and then I'm also going to take this and run this through. Obviously not this piece that I just dropped my ink all over. I'll run that through, and then I have a card base here, and I already cut this. It's just from a standard A2 size piece of paper, so it's going to be an A2 size card, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have all my pieces here. Um, still pretty crazy, crumply, cute. Yeah, just simple, guys. Um, I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to bend this a little bit more. It's completely dry, so that's good. But I'm going to use a wet glue. Because this has a lot of texture to it and things. And um, we want to make sure it stays down flat. So I like wet glues for this. It seems like I like wet glues for everything, don't I? <laughs> um, ooh, guys, I'm getting used to these glasses. Like I mentioned, they're progressive lenses. So, like, got to use my head the right way and my eyeballs. <laughs> So I'm in the right spot and not looking at some warped area. This paper, I just was going to say, this is the Hobby Lobby Brights paper I just recently picked up. And it looks so, like sunburned around the edges. Like, it's literally, I've had it for a few days. I don't know if it got burnt up there or what happened, but that's weird. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep that as flat as I can. I'm going to turn it over and keep massaging it from the back until it stays nice and flat, okay? I'll be right back. I'm going to keep some weight on this. Um, just to keep that flat. And in the meantime, I'm going to stick these two together, and then I'm going to pop dot this off of that. Actually, I'll use um, 3D glue gel because, again, I like the glue better. Um, you know, if there's anything else that you'd want to get a little artsy with on this guy, like I said, I wanted to keep it clean, but, you know, maybe a little stamping, a little... A little distressing <laughs> something else oh oh there's a delivery <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. that was fun I called my post out like I didn't know so it was like Tuesday and you know how there was a three-day weekend and all that they're like oh yeah I think I can see where it was delivered and um, obviously it was at the box it was just a mess especially when the guy's like I'm sorry <laughs> I'm like, can you go and knock on everyone's door? Because I don't know everybody in this cul-de-sac. I don't live in a cul-de-sac. There's only like 11 houses here. <laughs> but, you know, I asked obviously my neighbors. They would have brought it if they had gotten it. The ones that are right across and next to me. Great people. Nice people. 
and I don't know everybody else. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm. Oh well, what are you gonna do? I know she. Um, that's about when I was like, well, and then we'll just send it again. But I was like, oh, no, like I don't know. I feel bad. All right, guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think it's flat enough for now. I'm gonna pop this on here. Super sweet. Just very simple. I'm trying to think if I should add like some little something here and there. If I do that, maybe what I'll do is do some um, some drops. So since I'm gonna use this 3D glue gel, it takes a while for it to dry. It'll dry in a couple hours, but it won't be cured for 24 hours. I don't really care about curing. I just don't want it to move. Like if I come back later and put drops, it's gonna wanna move, right? Cause it, I might put some pressure, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna put this down. And I think our good message for today is don't grow up. It's a trap. And uh, <laughs> it's a good message. I don't know what you're supposed to do to avoid that, but oh well. So cute. So hopefully you guys like a quick and fun, easy slash busted out or busted out slash freeform Friday. Um, with a good message, you guys, with a good message. All right, there it is. All right, and um, I have plenty of things to do, um, hopefully over the weekend. I, you know, I got a bunch of items in. I did order some things from um, HSN uh, when they had all the Crafts Crane free shipping and other things. They've had a, quite a few different uh, little sales here this week. I did order the long folders from Diamond Press, and if you guys haven't picked them up, if they're not sold out, I would definitely recommend them. I am in love with these folders. I'm telling you, they just the way they work and everything that they... The, I like them. <laughs> I'm a big fan. So I already did a little video on that. Thank you guys so much for letting me know what the things you picked up, what you thought about the um, the Diamond Press Live, like all those things I always pass on. And I know a lot of times you guys email uh, Diamond Press and other companies anyhow, but um, anyway, they like to know the feedback. So I heard from a lot of people that it was great. I heard from a lot of people that felt rushed. <laughs> Some of the comments I saw while it was on, people were like, oh, it's so great. You're not being interrupted by a host like on HSN. <laughs> so I guess people, everyone has their, you know, um, feeling about it. So uh, all those things I pass along. So uh, thank you guys so much. Um, I will trim my nails. I'll go get my glasses and that'll be half the issues for today taken care of. <laughs> If those are my only issues, then that's pretty good, right? Um, all right, guys. Uh, be safe out there. Take care. I will see you all at the next one. Bye now. Mm -hmm.